Really the first question you should be asking is what exactly is statistics studying? Now, a lot of people have the misconception that it's just about like looking at the mean of things and making predictions based on that and looking at standard deviation and variance. Now, that's pretty common stuff. You're going to be using it, but that's not all of what statistics is. You have to learn various programming languages to apply the concepts you've learned. You have to learn math and math in ways that you've never learned before, like probability. That was a completely new experience for me. On top of this, you're going to learn various modeling techniques to predict into the future. You're going to learn things like survey sampling and how to make a proper survey. All of these things are batched under the umbrella of statistics, so it's going to be something that you're going to have to keep in mind if you're going to choose this as a major or a minor. Now, for me personally, I go to Penn State, so this is, experience is going to be a little bit different for everybody depending on where you go and what you choose to do with it. But I'm going to talk about what my first year looked like in statistics. Now, for me, I didn't start off in statistics. So if you want to see a video about my four years of college, let me know down in the comments. But as far as a first year student in statistics at Penn State, here's some of the classes you're going to be taking. So in your first semester, you're going to be prescribed three classes that are pertaining to the statistics major. Those three classes are Math 140 at Penn State, which is Calculus 1. You're going to be taking Stats 200, which is the introductory stats class. Um, that everybody has to take pretty much at Penn State. And then you're also going to be taking STAT 184, which is called an introduction to R. Now, R is a programming language that you can use for a bunch of different things, but it's often used in academia for studying statistics. Now, on top of these three classes, you're also going to be taking some gen eds on top of it. So keep that in mind. But as far as those three prescribed classes, in my experience, if you are familiar with math, and if especially if you're taking pre-calc or calc in high school, then Calculus 1 isn't going to be the hardest thing in the world. It's definitely a new experience if you haven't taken it in college or if you haven't had experience with calculus at all. But I would definitely keep up to date on your mathematics, especially pre-calc if you plan on taking this class. And of course, this isn't going to be the only calculus class you take because a lot to do with statistics is all based on calculus. So you're really going to have to have a strong grounding in mathematics. Now, the second prescribed course that was STAT 200 for the first semester, this introduction to stats class is a really basic understanding of statistics. You're gonna go over things like mean, median, mode. You're gonna go over things like the normal distribution and some of the properties, um, maybe some basic hypothesis testing and T distributions, just rather simple stuff in the statistics domain, but you're really gonna to wanna to pay attention to this class because it sets the precedent for the rest of your entire time at school. Um, I wish I would have paid a little bit more attention in it, but for me, it was kind of just a class that was thrown into a bunch of other hard classes with me. Um, so I didn't really pay too much attention and it wasn't too hard to get through, but I definitely wish I would have paid attention and so I could have a more solid grounding in statistics before moving on. And now finally, STAT 184, which is the last prescribed course for your first semester. I personally didn't take this in my first semester. I didn't take it till about my sixth semester, um, but definitely would have been helpful to take it before some of my other classes. So in STAT 184, you're gonna learn some basic R techniques to manipulate data sets and analyze them in different ways. Um, for me, this was actually a really fun class. It wasn't too much um, as far as difficulty but it was a great grounding in the programming language of R um, and it set me up for the future of my statistics career. So I've used the concepts I've learned in that class a lot, especially over the past year or so. But for this first semester, I'm gonna give it a difficulty score of around a six. Um, it's really not too intense in terms of workload um, or in difficulty. So I think it's a great start into the statistics major. Now I'm only gonna go over the first year of uh, a Penn State statistics student at least um, in this video. So if you want to see the entire statistics major at Penn State, let me know down in the comments and I'll make a video on that as well. But in your second semester as a statistics student, the only prescribed courses that are related to statistics are Calculus 2 and STAT 380. Now in Calculus 2, you're building again on many of the concepts you learned in Calculus 1. You're going to get into more integrals as well um, as more advanced derivative techniques. Uh, I don't remember too much else from that course other than that it was a little bit more difficult than Calculus 1. But as long as you have a good basis in Calculus 1, um, I think you would be fine in this class. And one thing to note moving forward with a statistics degree is that you're going to be using a lot of math. So if you're not comfortable with it, I would definitely consider practicing up or maybe even um, not deciding with statistics because that is a huge grounding in statistics and you're going to be using it all the time. And then I almost forgot one other concept in Calculus 2 that you go over that is also very important is you're going to go over the idea of Taylor series and infinite series. 
Um, this is another concept that is very important in statistics, and you'll get into it a lot in probability later on in your statistics career. So keep that in mind as well. Now, the second prescribed course is going to be STAT 380 for your second semester. Now, even though it's prescribed into your second semester, I'm taking it right now as a senior. Um, so you can kind of take these uh, classes out of order. I wouldn't advise it. It definitely would make more sense to take it in the order that they give you. But the name of this class is Data Science Through Statistical Reasoning and Computation. So in this class, you're applying a lot of what you learned in STAT 184, which was the introduction to our class, and you're learning to apply it to a data science application. So what you're doing here is you're learning how to fit regression models. You're learning how the basics of machine learning and statistical learning. Um, I'm still going through the class and I'm really enjoying it because that's where I really want to work when I graduate. As far as the difficulty on this class, um, I would say it's definitely one of the more difficult classes that you're going to have to take in your first year. I would say Calculus 2 is probably the hardest one you'll have to take in your first year, followed closely by STAT 380. But really, this class's main idea is to give you a building block of data science for your future. So all in all, I think if you follow the prescription of these courses um, that Penn State gives you if you decide to go there, it's really not a lot of um, workload. It is there. You're going to take some very difficult classes. And like I said, if you want to see some more about those, let me know down in the comments. But if you want to see what I do in my day as a statistics student, watch this video next. Thanks for watching.